So it's a very beautiful day, the end of September, uh, September 30th, 2020. I thought I'd show a few clips of some really great uh, finds I had out here today. I haven't really been out here all summer. I'm sure there are a lot of people out here, but um, I've come out here to look at the end of summer. It's basically the fall has started and winter's on its way. And I'll be able to come out there just a few more times in the next uh, next few weeks but by the end of uh, November we just can't come out here anymore but this is three and a half hours once I got out here about nine o'clock till about 1230 uh, this is what I've, I've been able to pick up uh, on the beach here I've got a lot of some really amazing uh, Kelly green some uh, green ones today and also some really large cobalt blues a few pieces of pottery that really nice some blues and yellows and uh, I got two marbles right there in the front and center two marbles so that's a really old marble and a, um, a frosted marble has been out here a while but not as old as that flat one that's on the lower part of it only one agate so far today but this is what I found in about three and a half hours looking out here on glass beach at Port Townsend and so this is uh, a really a good place to find sea glass and I would recommend people coming out here and uh, have a good time looking for sea glass, which was used to be the old town dump until about the 1960s. They used to actually take their trash and they would dump it over the side of the cliff right up here, and it would land down here on the beach. And over the years, it's been cleaned up many times, but uh, the, the sea itself has basically degraded many of the metal pieces, so you don't have any of that anymore other than at McCurdy Point the point that's at the very begin of Glass Beach back over there, you'll find a few car parts, a few uh, you know axles and a few tires, but that's about it. The, the beach is very clean and very, very, uh, just it's covered with rocks and sand and lots of sea glass. And so this is what I found today. And I'll show a few extra clips of, of the, some of the finds when I did uh, locate some of these specific pieces. So have a great time. And every once in a while, while you're out here on Glass Beach at Port Townsend, you do find some really beautiful pieces. Here is a, a pink, a very large white lavender or a pink piece of glass. Look at that. That's beautiful. And while you're looking down here on Glass Beach, you find some of the smaller pieces down here closer to the water's edge but you do sometimes depending on the time of year and how the tides have been mixing the larger rocks with the smaller pebbles you'll find some of the bigger ones so here uh, is a really nice big sea foam uh, piece that's about an inch across a uh, really nice sea foam right there. but it was actually down here really close to the water's edge uh, so surprising to find it but usually they're up a little higher but today because of the, the way the tides have been this is uh, end of September, se September 30th, 2020, uh, you'll find it, it just the tides have kind of mixed up the smaller pebbles with the bigger ones. And so you just have to kind of look over the entire beach and see what you can find right there. Yeah, there's a few small ones there. So you just have to look over the entire beach. I like to go to, uh, high into the berms where the larger uh, rocks are, but then to work your way down, see how it's all been spread out across the beach and later in the summer. Um, and so you'll find it kind of more separated in the middle of the summer in, in July and August. Uh, you'll see the, the bigger rocks up higher and the smaller ones down below. But uh, now it's beginning to mix up, especially as we start to get closer to the winter time and the storms begin to come. It'll start mixing the rocks and creating some really interesting uh, rock beds and berms all along the beach and on certain days every once in a while you become really lucky when you find something that's called a marble on the beach you can look at that at first it looked like just a, a natural rock and i kind of began to look at the red and oranges in it and those are not naturally occurring they're man-made swirls put into glass and so this has been on the beach for a long a lot of years it's it's been broken and then rounded and and uh, just shaped by the beach and the, all the waves and the, t the tumbling probably for 50 or 60 years and, or even longer. So this is, a, this is a very hard to find on the beach, but you do find marbles now and then. They're basically were placed into paint cans and used to help mix the, to mix the paint years and years ago. And then when the paint cans were thrown out, the marbles were left on the beach. Yeah. More interesting colors that you're going to find down here on the beach of sea glass will be... Uh, like the, this little piece of pink right here came from probably a 
an old piece of depression glass or something. And so these really, when drilled, make some really nice earrings, pink earrings, uh, with the good earring hooks and findings. And so this will be a, a nice addition to uh, the assortment of pink earrings we can make. Something else that's kind of nice to find on the beach, uh, you also will find pottery, broken pieces of porcelain or different teacups type pottery or all different kinds. Sometimes they'll have colors, sometimes they'll have printed uh, designs on it, really uh, very Victorian or antique pieces out here. But this is just a nice cobalt blue color. We can mix in with uh, some cobalt blue pieces and make a nice pendant for a necklace. So that's a good find right there. And so walking along the water's edge, I typically just find the smaller pieces. But, but today, because it's uh, the end of the summer and the beginning of the fall, I've been finding some bigger pieces down by the water's edge. And here is a really nice piece of cobalt blue right there. This is a, about a, at least an inch across, about an inch across. It's a, a nice piece, and I can use that to make some beautiful pendants out of, or one pendant with lots of other little pieces of cobalt on it. So that'll be a really nice piece to add. So wow, look here, so close to the water's edge. A, a big piece like that. Really hard to find cobalt blue because it's a very brittle. When you put the cobalt chemicals into the glass, the silica, it makes it more brittle. So to find a larger piece of cobalt blue down here, a sea glass on the beach is really difficult. You'll find the bigger, the whites and the browns and some greens and even some uh, aquas and the sea foams, but a cobalt is really hard to find. Oh, other times you'll be out here looking for sea glass and you'll find a few marbles that don't appear to be too old but uh, right there is a uh, more recent one but it's still well frosted so it's probably been out here for uh, you know a few years I'm not sure how long uh, 10 15 years maybe longer but it hasn't been uh, tum tumbled as much as the other who have been out for 50 or 60 years but this is frosted it's been out here for a while but you'll find a few that are more recent arrivals on the beach. I'll pass this through my digging piece down. A piece of pottery right down there. Look at that. That's a nice yellow. Be used for a pendant. That's good. And on each outing, when I come out here on Glass Beach, every time I come out, I do find a few pieces of chalcedony or agates. And so there's a little piece right there. And so it's very, very translucent. Uh, just like a piece of sea glass is and it's basically agate is the same or chalcedony is the same as uh, is a silica it's uh, formed in, inside volcanic rock and uh, the glass is man-made made out of silica also but they're both very translucent and this is a piece of agate or uh, chalcedony look at there i just saw that big piece of green sitting up there look at that so silica green, Kelly green, and there's white, and there's a piece of an agate or chalcedony. It's all out here, spread out everywhere. Just got to look for it. So I was just walking along down by the water's edge, and I looked in. It's one of the largest pieces of green that I've ever picked up ever on this beach right there. The size of that, it's about uh, two inches across, about an inch and a quarter, inch and a half inch and a quarter across, two inches long. Look at the size of that. Wow. That's beautiful. Look at that thing. I'm not sure what I'll make of it. Maybe I could wire wrap it. What a gem. Beautiful gem. This is so thick. It's uh, at least uh, maybe three quarters of an inch thick. I don't know what it came out of. It could not have come out of a 7-Up bottle soft drink bottle but it came out of some large green piece of glass what a beautiful piece here's another really concentrated area of sea glass i came down and it's kind of spread out and i stepped on one i just thought wow couldn't imagine then i saw another one and the green down here i almost stepped on this guy right here it's about and three quarters across right there, big aqua. Look at that. There's a bunch bedded in the aqua rocks here. There's another a sea foam right there. They're all over the place. So you just kind of kind of keep your eyes peeled and look around among the rocks and see what you can find.
just white ones. I don't need to pick up that many white ones unless I'm going to use them for like a pendant. But uh, yeah, the last few seconds right there in that area, right there. I looked down and saw this really big piece of white sea glass right next to it, though, was a little piece of red. Red is one of the most difficult to find colors of sea glass on the beach. But look at that. That uh, could be drilled probably for an earring. It's really tiny, but uh, it could be done. And look at that big piece. I could probably just drill the top of that and use it for a pendant or something. But the red one is what really caught my eye, even though the the uh, attention was got, got my attention by the big white one. But there's a the red one. That's a, that's a nice find. I wish we could find bigger ones. It's really hard to find larger pieces of red out here on the beach. Anyway, keep hunting. So that was my day on September 30th, uh, one day of uh, sea glass hunting out there on Glass Beach at Port Townsend. Hope you enjoyed some of the clips and learned a little bit about sea glass hunting yourself and some of the good places to find them and all the different types you can find on the beach. But uh, you can find more information about uh, sea glass hunting on my website. That's pnwbeachcombing.com pnwbeachcombing.com where you can find different field reports about various beaches looking for sea glass or agates and lots of information on a specific uh, web page there on, the, on the, my uh, website about sea glass specifically how it's formed and how to to be able to describe the rarity different types of sea glass you can find and the different things you can make out of it so hope you had a good time and uh, keep uh, looking for sea glass and having a out, good time out there on the beach <music>